feeding time. I want to feed them, Mama. Come on, Daddy. Brave roses up there. I think Gopher's gonna get that one. Dang him. Filtration seems to be doing pretty good. <sighs> I just dropped one. Yeah. I'm snag that to quit. I'll tell you what, these wax worms uh, definitely get your fish plump quick. Uh, they're like one of the highest foods and fat basically for these guys. Why if you go fishing and use wax worms, they'd be pretty good. Fish prefer them. I haven't got that goldfish probably get that one too. Actually this pig is still trying to digest that one just ate because it's pretty big. If they all like and gets it. You know, I I had that gill right there about I think a little shorter of time than when I had that big guy down there. It's just what I've learned is if you just throw food in there and just walk away, uh, the dominant one's gonna eat it all, eat most of it. Uh, he's down there playing with it, I don't know why. Um, that's good. Uh, dominant one's gonna is gonna and that guy just ate that other one. Dominant one's gonna eat all the food and chase all the other ones away uh, from getting uh, any of it. Really, he's gonna eat as much as possible and he's gonna fight everyone off. So that's why he is size, you know that he is right now is because he was just eating everything so I kind of throw the food where you know all the fish are at like say if this single bluegill was on the left side I try to get food down to him just so I know that he's eating but this little guy should actually feed on these rosies uh, if they're gonna get hungry, they're gonna use their instinct and they're gonna eat whatever they can. Um, but I got tons of rosies in here. There's just those three that came out. All the other ones are hiding in these rocks. Um, one. I don't know if you can see it. There's one right in there. Yeah, just chilling. But these rosies, what they do is a lot of people breed them. There's another one. There's a couple of them under there. It's, they breed them, they use cups, and they weigh them down with rocks. So basically one way in. And you feed them certain, certain food, like uh, brine shrimp. Brine shrimp seems to trigger them to breed. And uh, the male will sit there and, and protect. There he goes eating. Uh, the male will sit there and protect, see, I mean, he comes over here and kind of saying, hey, this is my area, get away, and um, that's just how he was upstairs, and he's still doing it down here, and the uh, bigger, you know, 150 gallon tank compared to the 75 gallon tank. Generally, I mean, the bigger they get, obviously, the more space they're going to dominate or want to. Uh, for him, he's trying to dominate the whole thing. Um, 
But anyway, going back to the Rosies, breeding those guys, right temperature, right food, uh, and the cups, or as for instance, I put these caves down here, because usually there's only like one way in. So the males will protect the eggs. I think the fry hatches in like a few days, a few days to a week, something like that. I have to do more research on it, but I, I'm hoping that they do this so they can keep on breeding. I know the fry is kind of hard to uh, keep in the tank because the rosies will eat their own fry. But uh, hey, uh, sorry that uh, these guys are not really cooperating on the feeding. Um, they're kind of still new to this tank, so they they may not want to feed all that much like they were doing upstairs. The water's a little different. It take a little bit of time. Um, I'm gonna see real quick if these guys will feed on those two wax ones right there. Uh, I don't know. I really don't see the hunger. I didn't really feed them. I didn't feed them this morning. Uh, this is my first time. You just spit it out. It's only, well, I forgot to set my clock ahead an hour. So it's 1220. These guys, I'm, I'm sure. I'm thinking that, I'm pretty sure he, this guy's feeding on like a couple rosies a night. But that could be one of the reasons why. Eventually those wax worms in there, they will get eaten. Either by the goldfish or by the gills. Or the pleckle. If you can get them, he'll... He'll eat them too. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, any more requests, feel free to hit me up. And, uh, appreciate it. Thank you.